In the last video, we went ahead and wrote a custom function as part of our hook block view. And this custom function queries our database, specifically the node table, searches for any node that's been created using the feed item content type, and then shows those nodes inside of this block. And so you recall that our function for that did a database query. So that's where our query comes into play. And then basically themed our function to display a list of items using the core bar tick theme. Now, what will happen is you'll probably develop a custom theme for your site, and you'll want to add some style and theming to this specific block. So what we're going to do is talk about that in this video. What I've done is I've added a custom theme based on the Omega theme to my themes directory in Sites All Themes. It's beyond this course to go into all the intricacies of theming, but what I've done is I've installed Omega and I built a custom theme using the Omega starter kit. And so if I go ahead and enable and set the Firehouse theme as the default and go back to the home page, you'll notice that I now have my Facebook feed showing in the first sidebar of the Omega based custom theme. And that's because if you look at the blocks configuration for the Omega regions, they actually have the same defined regions as Bartik, so they use a sidebar first. And since we had already enabled Facebook posts in that sidebar, they will show up as well in our custom theme. Now the theming looks a little bit different because this is using the core Omega theme styling right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some styling to this block. Now, a good way to do this is you want to first add a template file to your theme specifically for the block content itself. You can actually override right down to the block level in the theme layer. So to find out what you should call that theme template file, you can use this cheat sheet over on the Drupal.org site. This is a Drupal 7 template suggestions. And here, there's some template suggestions for blocks. There's a naming convention with theming in Drupal 7, and that's to add two dashes after block before the actual name of the template. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a block dash dash module dot TPL. So I've added this TPL file to my templates folder within my custom theme, and the template file is called block dash dash fb dash feed dash block dot TPL. So it's block dash dash the name of your module dot TPL for template dot PHP. And if we look at the code inside of that template file, notice I've written some custom HTML. You open the template file with PHP, and that's because it's a PHP file. There's nothing inside of the PHP opening and closing brackets, but we are defining some HTML here. The HTML is just a simple div ID. So what I'm doing is I'm overriding the theme by adding a new div, and the div's going to wrap all the content that's printing in the block. So basically all I'm doing with this template file is I'm adding a div ID, and I'm adding an H2 header to the block to override the actual block subject line. So we're going to have a Facebook feed header, and then we're going to be printing the content. But because I'm wrapping it with a div, I can come back and style this later. If I save this and then make sure to go to my site and clear my theme registry, then voila, I now have, this is now being overridden, my block, with my template file. And I can confirm that by inspecting this element in uh, Chrome here or in Firefox with Firebug. Notice that I know it's being overridden because here's my div ID for FB feed that's wrapping the content of the actual block. So by seeing that div in there, I know that my template file has taken effect. In the next and last video of the section, we're going to go ahead and apply some CSS styling to the block based on the div we've added via our custom template file at the theme layer.